Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to my channel. My name is Bethany and I'm really excited about this video because my hair turned out really, really nicely. If you guys didn't know, I cut my hair by myself. I cut into a little bum. But this is my wash and go video, my wash and go routine. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy videos like this. Let's get started. I know my hair looks crazy. Let's just let's just move past that, okay? Today is a wash day routine. It's a new for me too. It's a new little routine because I have some new products that I'm trying. I'm doing treatment for sure. I tried to go ginger yesterday. It failed, but I still want to like, you know, maintain my good curls, my good healthy curls because I cut my hair. So let me get into it because I got a lot to do. Gotta get my thumbnail in, of course. <laughs> That's me testing the water because if you didn't know, when you shampoo, you need your water to be hot. For conditioning, it could be warm. But shampoo, you need that water to be hot, girl, okay? To kill all those bacteria and all the dirt in your hair, I guess. I don't know. But that's me looking disappointed because I forgot a scrunchie. And I usually keep a scrunchie in the shower for wash day because it helps so much. That's the shampoo that I use. All the links for every product that I use in this video will be linked down below. That's me scrubbing, okay? Scrub a dub dubbing, okay? <laughs> because I use a lot of shampoo. I literally use three rounds of shampoo because I need my hair to be clean after wash day, okay? Clean. That's me rinsing it all out. Rinsing it all out, okay? I need to get all, I need to get all the shampoo out, all the conditioner out, and that's the water burning me, um, as you can see in my face. <laughs> On to everybody's favorite part of wash day, conditioner. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. This is everybody's favorite part. Yeah, because what? The way your hair feels after you condition, especially if you have a good conditioner. Ooh, girl, I can be in the shower all day with conditioner, I do not care. But as for my wash day, I do three rounds of shampoo and two rounds of conditioner, usually, if my hair cooperates. And I literally brush, brush, brush until my hair ooh, until i can literally run my hands through my hair smoothly until i get that like i'm gonna be in the shower like i don't care i'm not leaving the shower but like can you can you guys see the cut like ah! i cut my hair so good like oh my god and this is me this is my test to see if i can leave the shower or not literally running my hands through my hair and we're good to go good to go so I'ma just squeeze all the water out, grab my towel, and we're good. Okay, out the shower, I let my hair dry a little bit, but that's cause I just needed a break, okay? I was tired, it's not a lot of hair in terms of length, but it's like a lot of hair, okay? So I'm just gonna use the same towel and put it on my shoulders because when I put the treatment in, I want my hair to be like a little wet. So here's my little spray bottle, and this is what I'm using for today's treatment. Um, I've never used this before, so it's for my brother. And then I'm just gonna get some hair ties. Just keep some hair ties on deck because, yeah. And I must say, oh, if I didn't, if I did not, if I didn't mention, I'm the one who cut this hair. Like, I'm the one who did this haircut, and I'm actually really proud of myself because it's actually really cute. Oh, I want to I wanna add. I usually do three rounds of shampoo. I mentioned that in the little voiceover. <laughs> but, oh my god, look at it. Uh, it looks like mud. It smells like Play-Doh. But yeah, I usually use three rounds of shampoo. But because I literally washed and dyed my hair yesterday, even though the ginger did not stick, I did dye my hair yesterday, and I washed it. But for, of course, this video, I wanted to show you guys what I do, but instead of doing three rounds of shampoo and just wasting it because my hair is clean, <laughs> I needed to style it anyway, so it's best when it's like thoroughly washed, you know? My hair isn't too dry or too damaged, so I don't really need that much, but it tells you to keep it in, I think, for about like 30 minutes. Sorry if you hear Mercy barking. But I'm just going to go in. Of course, if you want to take your time, you can. I'm just going through it really quick. And I'm just getting like this much on each section. And I think what I'm going to do is just braid it back. And I want to get like my edges too. This side is done. <laughs> like, like, look at the, like, 
it was fighting so hard to stay on my hair like it really tried it tried so let me just start braiding now just so the treatment like sits and like you know it really absorbs it really absorbs my hair if y'all didn't know I could cornrow I could cornrow if y'all don't know how to cornrow I got you okay I'm gonna just go in and then I'll be back once this side is done Here is the braid, real simple, real simple. And then now let's get to the other side. Then after this, I'm just going to let it sit for like 20 minutes and then get to styling my hair. And I think today, I'm gonna just do, I'm gonna just do an afro. I'm gonna just do an afro. But with really defined curls, okay? I'm gonna really define my curls today. Because you know when you like get a haircut and like the curls are really fresh because literally all the dead hair is gone yeah 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 oh I desperately needed that cut so this is my process of doing the treatment and then after this literally I'm just gonna because I don't I don't think you guys want to see me wash out the deep conditioner it's literally just like rinsing, rinsing it out after I put in the conditioner I'm gonna come back and start styling and show you guys which products I use but I'm probably going to speed through that process because it's basically this, except parting it in smaller sections. Let me show you guys how I'm going through the braid. But yeah, I'm just parting it through smaller sections. But I do want to show you guys which products I use for my little wash and go. But yeah, so I'll be back once my little 20 minute timer goes off and I can rinse out the treatment. I forgot to mention, but I love adding some oil, a few little drops here and there, okay? Not too much, not too much. But to my treatments, oh, I love it. And to my wash and goes, just to add some shine at the end. So I'm back. My hair is fresh. There's no product in it anymore. And I'm going in with the same brand. But now I'm going in with their leave-in conditioner. And then I'm mixing it with gel. This is the gel that I use, the Eco Style gel that I use. I think it's the Argan Oil one. Yeah, I use the Argan Oil one. Let me just get started. All you really need... To like separate your hair unless you have a way more hair than mine it's just a couple hair ties and you can do a little clot clip too if you're trying to be a little fancy i'm gonna just show you guys um how i do one side i'm gonna part it so you guys can really see the definition between doing no product and using product girl your curls will be real defined if you take your time okay that's one thing i learned because I, I don't have patience with my hair. But, oh, I also have my little spray bottle on deck. But my hair is pretty wet, so I don't really need much. I'm just going to go in with that much in each little section. In the sections of doing the wash and go, I'm going to do it smaller than the sections I did for the treatment. Because now I'm actually, like, styling my hair. But just run your fingers through it. And then you get a little bit of the gel. Lord. And you know how like some products when you mix it, it like leaves like a little white, like little residue or whatever? This does that, but only when the hair is wet. So it dries just fine. And I like just scrunching up the like the hair section with the gel. And then I like putting it like the gel at the roots to like flatten the hair. I'm all for the huge afro. But I like that when like it's dry. Like, I don't want it to already be fresh. Like, the wash and go to be fresh and it's already poofy. That means my hair is not being, like, tamed, basically. I don't know how your hair is, but, like, that's just mine. So, I I put a whole bunch of products, okay? So, that's basically how I do it. So, I'll be back once this side is done and you guys will see the difference between product and, like, no product.
popping back in just to admire my curls real quick. If y'all don't like, ooh, this wash and go routine, like it's, it, it's eating today. Yeah, it's really showing off for the camera, yeah. And the front of my hair is a little bit damaged just cause literally that's the part of my hair that gets all the attention and like all the heat sometimes or whatever. So I'm just like reinforcing the curls with my fingers right here. Okay, okay, okay. Now <laughs> look at this side. Like the curls are going to be so pretty. Ooh! Pretty and healthy, okay? And what I love doing is getting some gel and scrunching it up because I don't know, let me know, comment down below. But shrinkage, like I love shrinkage. I think I love it because I don't naturally have a, like a lot, like some girls, oh my gosh. I feel like it's one of those things that when you have it, you don't like it, but I'm just like, oh my gosh. But I love my afro, it's just like, mm and mm, like, oh, I love that. So to like, you know, encourage that process because my natural, like my hair doesn't really have shrinkage, I make it shrink. And it just makes the curls just, it just locks the curls in, you know? Yeah, so this is this side. This is the side obviously that has all the product in it. And this side has nothing. So let me do that real quick and I'll be right back. The curls are defined, giving very much defined. And it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. I'll include a little clip of my hair when it's completely dry so you guys can see just how big my hair kind of gets. Okay, y'all, don't hate me. I forgot to show you what the wash and go look like dry, but this is still the same hair. It's literally like two days after, but it is after a braid out because I threw a wig on. But, like, you can still see, like, it's not dry. Like, it just, like, ah! Let me turn around so you guys can really see. Like, it's so full. Like, you see how big my hair gets? Like, please, try try my wash and go routine. Try it out. Try the products and let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And obviously, products will all be linked down below. But one more time, this is what they look like. In case you don't want to go to the description box, this is what the products look like. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I love you all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.